In this video, I'm going to talk about payments in lieu of notice and garden leave. So, what is payment in lieu of notice? Under your contract, your employer will have an obligation to give you a certain amount of notice to terminate your employment. Sometimes they can terminate your employment straight away and rather than you working that notice period, they'll pay you a lump sum. For example, if you're entitled to one month's notice, you'll be terminated immediately and you'll be paid a month's pay. This is especially valuable if you have a long notice period because you can start a new job straight away, subject to any post-termination restrictions you may have in your contract, such as a non-compete. So you could be paid for your notice period and be starting a new job already. A payment in lieu of notice can often be available from your employer if there's been some kind of dispute in the workplace. This is because your employer often wants you to leave quite quickly and would prefer not to have you around if there may be a negative impact on your colleagues at work. So it can be just a case of asking your employer to give you a payment in lieu of notice. Obviously, if you're trying to negotiate your exit, if they do offer payment in lieu of notice, try not to show your cards that you're too pleased about this and just carry on negotiating the ex gratia part of your settlement package. Be aware that a payment in lieu of notice will be subject to the usual deductions for income tax and national insurance, unlike the ex gratia part of a settlement payment under 30,000, which isn't subject to any deductions. You should check your contract of employment to see if it mentions payment in lieu of notice. Sometimes an employment contract will say that an employer only has to pay basic salary for your notice period. Otherwise, if there's no mention of that in your contract, you can argue that you should be paid both your benefits and a pension contribution for that period. You're not usually entitled to any bonus for uh, payment in lieu of notice, or to any holiday that you would have accrued had you worked your notice period. So sometimes you can end up being paid less if you are paid in lieu of notice than if you worked your notice period, but obviously you have to balance that with the benefit of not having to work your notice period. Topic two, looking now at garden leave. Sometimes, rather than you working your notice period or paying you in lieu of notice, your employer will ask you to leave the workplace at the beginning of your notice period and you don't have to come back to work. However, you do stay an employee and you're paid as usual during your notice period. The idea is that you can spend your notice period sat in your garden. But be aware that you can't work for anybody else whilst you're on garden leave. You must wait until the end of your employment before you can get a new job. However, there's nothing to stop you looking for a new job. Garden leave can be beneficial if it's helpful to extend the length of your employment. This is because it can be easier to find a new job if you're still in a job. So that's the end of my short video on payments in lieu of notice and garden leave. I hope it's been helpful. If you'd like any further information on these topics, please have a look around the website. There's plenty to find there. Or do get in touch with us for your free consultation.